everyone. Thanks for tuning in to today's Spot product announcement. The past few years have been transformative for so many technologies. We're seeing rapid advancements in AI, automation, data management, and a growing need for better data collection to power those tools. And these shifts are driving a huge need for leaders to prepare their businesses for the next generation of technology that helps solve industry challenges in new and exciting ways. Many of the world's leading companies are looking to robots to augment their workforce. And Spot is the world leader in the emerging mobile robotics market. With more than 1,000 robots in over 35 countries, no other robot has been deployed more often to tackle some of the industry's toughest, most dangerous tasks. Spot handles tasks that are difficult or dangerous for people. Spot spends hours and hours each week walking factory floors, checking gauges and machinery, exposes itself to high radiation in nuclear facilities, goes offshore, and much more, so people like you don't have to. Every single day, our robot is being deployed at job sites all over the world, and it's making a big difference in industries like manufacturing, construction, power and utilities, mining, oil and gas, and even in the classroom, where hopefully, we're helping inspire the next generation of young roboticists. But we want Spot to do even more, and today we're excited to announce a brand new set of features and hardware. We've put together major software updates to make industrial tasks like thermal inspection, acoustic imaging, and gauge reading easier. We've added a ton of new features to our Scout software so you can quickly plan and edit missions remotely and get better visibility into your site. We've introduced new visual and audio features that help the robot signal its intentions, which will improve safety, on busy job sites with lots of people. And we've added an exciting new manipulation capability that will open the door to more autonomous missions. To kick things off, I'm gonna turn it over to Mary Frayne, our product manager for industrial inspection to tell you more about our latest software. Thanks, Robert. As we have seen in the last few years, a major part of technology adoption is ease of use. We want any customer to be able to buy a robot and have it working on site in just a few hours. Most importantly, we want you to start generating value in that first week of deployment. Now, Spot is a dynamic sensor, meaning it can walk around your facility and carry out multiple types of inspections. So consequently, it has to be very adaptable and support a variety of sensor integrations. Today, we are releasing a software update that makes visual, thermal, and acoustic inspections easier than ever. So let's start at the beginning. You have a facility with equipment that needs to be inspected as often as possible. If there is a compressed air leak in your manufacturing line or an unplanned outage at your plant, you could be losing thousands to millions of dollars a day. And our customers like Global Foundries, BP, National Grid, they wanna be running at peak efficiency, catching those costly equipment failures early. And they want their people to be focused on high value tasks. They don't want them to spend all their time doing rounds of the facility and checking on old equipment. So to remedy this, our customers are turning to Spot. Our full inspection kit includes a thermal camera to detect those motor and bushing failures early, uh, an acoustic imager to find compressed air leaks, our enhanced autonomy payload, the Spot EAP2, and finally, our remote inspection software, Scout. Now, Spot has been able to capture important data about your site for years. That part isn't new. But what is new is that we're now offering three different types of inspections built into the platform. And we've updated our inspection configuration workflows to make for a more seamless user experience that's quick and easy for everyone. Let's start by talking about an inspection we had before. In our last software release, we introduced an end-to-end -end thermal inspection workflow. You could set up thermal inspection actions through your site and trigger notifications on Scout when equipment goes above or below your set range. Now, in this release, we are taking that thermal inspection workflow even farther. So now, you can set up inspection actions to capture multiple regions of interest in a single photo. Then post-inspection, you have access to way more data at your fingertips. And then in inspection review, you'll be able to view and compare temperatures across the entire photo. You can also set up alerts for differences in temperatures between two regions. Uh, for example, you could use the spot to inspect a three-phase transformer. And if one of those bushings in the transformer is hotter than another, that would indicate an issue with the bushing itself or with the connection being made. 
Moreover, we have made it much faster to set up these autonomous inspections. Now you don't have to worry about setting your thermal image parameters up front on the tablet. You can simply line up the robot to capture that image you want, and then configure your thermal parameters in Scout later to get the data that you need. In addition to thermal inspections, we have also more tightly integrated visual inspections such as gauge reading. Now this will be key to helping our customers digitize their analog gauges without having to replace them or monitor them daily with operator rounds. With a gauge reading computer vision add-on provided by our partner Levitas, you'll be able to set Spot up to inspect analog gauges across your site and trigger alerts on abnormal readings. Lastly, we have fully integrated acoustic imaging in this release. So with a Fluke SV600 payload for Spot, customers will be able to trigger acoustic inspection actions that provide immediate insight on assets. Now in the tablet, you can point and aim Spot at your equipment of interest, choose to set your parameters on the frequency range in the tablet or then later in Scout, and set up alerts for abnormal noise readings. This is really going to help our customers save a lot of time and money by finding compressed air leaks sooner. And again, all of these inspection workflows are made really easy through our remote inspection software, Scout. Scout is Spot's one-stop shop for mission editing, mission scheduling, and data review. In addition to these improved inspection workflows, we've added a couple of other new features to Scout as well. And these include new user permission sets and a dashboard to review your robot's progress. With the new user permissions, admins can set up their operators to be drivers, data reviewers, or both. Teams can choose the setup that then works best for them. In the new dashboard, users will be able to see a metrics summary on their robot's completed missions and actions. You'll also be able to dig into specific missions to see if there were any interruptions or important findings. And you'll always be able to move your data from Scout into your own asset management system. We are really excited to see our customers make use of these new features. But beyond improved inspection workflows, we've also added a lot more focus into how Spot interacts with your team on the ground. And to do that, we have actually redesigned some of Spot's hardware and added new robot behaviors. So to tell you more, I'm handing it over to David Robert, our Director of Human Robot Interaction. Thanks, Mary. As Mary talked about, we've added a lot of software features that greatly improve Spot's inspection capabilities. What we haven't talked about yet is the hardware that's going to take it to the next level. It's really important to us that Spot behaves in a way that people expect and understand. And to do that, we've redesigned the robot to include an audio and visual signaling system. We've also added an emergency stop button on the robot for increased safety. The new audio visual system comes fully embedded into the robot and consists of five safety lights located around the robot's body, a safety buzzer, and a speaker. This new system works together to provide enhanced safety and awareness for people working near the robot in industrial settings. In order to make sure people near the robot know what to expect, the system comes pre-configured with light patterns and tones that will alert workers that Spot is performing actions in the area. There are a few light patterns to be aware of. When Spot is operating as intended during normal mission activities, it'll project a green colored blinking pattern. When people should pay attention and exercise caution around the robot, it will automatically switch to an amber colored blink pattern. For example, when the robot is going up or downstairs or moving through an intersection or crosswalk inside a facility. The robot will also flash white lights as it conducts inspection actions around your facility. Spot's new light signaling capabilities can be paired with its buzzer to further announce the robot's intentions. For example, as the robot is coming around a blind spot. All these features can be turned on or off and adjusted to fit your facility's needs and staff's preferences. Our goal is to seamlessly integrate Spot into your worksite, giving you the control you need to ensure operations are safe and that the robot can be easily understood by anyone. With this release, we're also adding a feature called Moving Object Detection that you'll be able to turn on anytime a Spot EAP2 payload is attached. This payload includes a LiDAR that will allow the robot to detect moving objects such as people or forklifts on your site. And when the robot identifies that moving object in its path, it knows to signal, keep a safe distance, and exercise increased caution as it continues on its mission. For our final hardware improvement, we've also added a physical emergency stop button or e-stop, in addition to the software quick stop we have on the tablet and in Scout. 
When the e-stop on the robot is pressed, Spot will drop to the ground and flash red lights. In addition to the new hardware, we've made a few small behavioral changes that will have big payouts in this release. In some of the industrial facilities and outdoor environments Spot works in, it often traverses slippery surfaces and wet floors. In this release, we've updated our gates to make Spot travel more safely. In our most stable gate, Crawl, Spot will move one leg at a time and stay close to the ground to keep upright on slippery surfaces. Even in a normal walk mode, now Spot will be able to better catch itself when it slips. We're eager to see these enhancements improve our human-robot interactions on sites around the world. And that's not all. I'm going to hand it back to Robert, who's going to talk about where we're taking robotics in the next few years. Boss Dynamics is on a journey toward general purpose robots. We want to create the kind of machines we all dreamed about as kids. Robots that can help us with almost anything we want them to. Step one in that journey is mobility. A robot like Spot can go almost anywhere a person can. Step two is sensing and autonomy. Spot can perceive the world around it and complete many tasks without a human controlling it. But step three is manipulation. This is the future of robotics. General purpose robots should be able to grasp and move things in the physical world the same way people can. We are just beginning to tap into that world of mobile manipulation. Up until now, we've largely been performing manual manipulation tasks, where an operator uses a spot arm to maneuver, grasp, and move objects. But now, for the very first time, we're beginning to work some of these manipulation capabilities into our autonomous missions. In this latest release, customers will now be able to use the spot arm to open doors autonomously during auto walk missions. This literally opens up new possibilities for inspections because Spot can now move from room to room on its own, even in a completely empty facility. Now, we should warn you that this feature is still in beta mode, so I'm sure there will be some kinks we need to work out. But this has been something our customers have been asking for. So we're really excited about the possibilities, and we can't wait to see what kinds of new challenges you'll tackle as you begin to implement this and all the other new features. We're incredibly proud of the work we've put into Spot over the years. We know it's one thing to build a really cool robot, and it's another thing entirely to make a robot that's actually useful in the real world, in your world. We really appreciate all the collaboration and customer feedback we've received as you put Spot to work on a daily basis in more and more applications. With your ongoing support, we'll develop a new generation of robots that make our lives safer, easier, and more productive. Thanks for putting our robots to work.